Thank you for joining me in another video about being intentional, the series of videos which is based on a book by the same name that helps you understand some of the patterns which develop in your life, some of the habits which you engage in, some of the activities that you actually undertake which block you and stop you from achieving um, the stated goals that you have or the aims that you have in your life and achieving your full potential. And today's subject which as always has come about from a synthesis of many emails which I have received over the last month is, is called flogging a dead horse. As the vivid metaphor suggests, it is a kind of activity we engage in where we put in a lot of time and effort and perhaps money into something which is evidently not going to have the outcome that we expected to have. And in this particular case, the metaphorical dead horse is not going to suddenly get up and do what we want it to do, no, no matter how hard or for how long we flog it. So what is the dead horse in your life? Well, it could be a relationship, it could be a business relationship, it could be something in yourself which you haven't accepted, it could be a particular kind of activity which you engage in time and time and time and time and time again, hoping that somehow you will get the outcome that you want. There are many reasons why we do this, sometimes because we fail to accept that we have failed in our judgment perhaps, or in our choice in something, and we want to prove to ourselves that we're right. Sometimes we want to prove to other people that we're right in deciding something, so we pig-headedly do things again and again and again and again. At other times we may be invested, we may be invested in a relationship, we may be invested in a business venture, we may have a personal and emotional and psychological investment in something, and we just simply refu refuse to walk away because we think that if we do so, we have evidently failed, and we do not want to accept that. Well, how do you deal with this? The easiest thing of everything that we just discussed is to understand that there's a dead horse in a picture. The moment you identify that and you accept it in yourself, then the next question is, what do you do about it? Well, evidently you need to stop flogging it. So whatever you were doing, just stop. Stop putting money into a venture, stop putting effort into a relationship, stop trying to revive a connection that refuses to be revived, stop trying to basically achieve something which is unachievable. Once you have stopped, then the next question is, well, where do you go from there? Well, that is for you to decide. And I know this sounds a bit like a cop-out because I've already given you two things you can do. Identify the situation and stop taking the actions or the habits or doing the habits that you have been doing up to now. But the very next thing, which is, well, what do you do, is always a little bit delicate. If you're in a relationship, for example, and, well, you stop now working on it because evidently it's not going anywhere, the next step for you is perhaps to decide what you want to do now. Do you want to just stay and continue in a kind of sort of a frozen limbo forever? And if it works for you, that, that's perfectly fine. But if it doesn't, then you have to decide that the next step perhaps would be separating, getting a divorce if you're married, or walking away if it's a business relationship, or any of those things. But in order for you to decide that, you have to understand what you gain and what you lose emotionally and psychologically and perhaps sometimes materially by continuing to stay in that relationship, by continuing to just do nothing in a frozen limbo kind of situation. So if you find yourself in a situation where you have been flogging a dead horse for any number of reasons, now is the time to stop. Accept it for what it is. Decide what to do next for yourself. That will be liberating in many ways. It will be painful, always. It will be a moment of growth, inevitably. And that will hopefully, definitely, help you understand more about yourself and decide what your next step in life should be in a much better way and in a much better frame of mind. As always, when it comes to being intentional, none of these things are actually easy to do. They require a certain amount of personal growth. They require definitely intent from our part to want to solve something which has been holding us back and we want to move forward from there. And they require 
resolve in order to do then the hard things which have to be done next. I hope this is helping you. I hope it gives you some material to think about. Keep the questions coming in. As always, there are more links in the description box below on YouTube. And um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And stay safe out there. Keep being intentional. Keep being productive. Keep being a better person for you. Take care.